the Sports Desk is sponsored by Jim Butler Chevrolet, the Midwest's number one Chevy dealer, 10 years running. You know, I'm here to get this team right now going in the right direction. And what happens after that happens? Uh, I can't control that. Uh, I just have to come in here and get this team winning hockey. It is a new day for the St. Louis Blues. The Barubi era is over and the Bannister era has begun. The new head coach in town is just the intern, but the hockey lifer is getting a chance to prove he can bring out the best in this roster. Bannister's first test is old friend Vladimir Tarasenko and the Ottawa Senators tonight. Today's morning skate saw a reunited top line of Kairou Thomas and Buchnevich with Jake Neighbors on the third line. And the recently recalled Mackenzie McEachern back in the lineup. Here's what the new man in town had to say about potential changes he may be considering. Like I said, I don't think it's something that we're, we're going to blow up. Um, I'm sure there's going to be questions about the specialty teams. That's a big part of the game these days. And obviously, the specialty teams here and especially the power play has struggled. You know, the structure of the game, I, I, I don't think it's that far off of where it needs to be. I'm going to make some changes myself as I get more comfortable, but it still won't change the directive of we have to be a much more highly competitive team. Uh, and also the accountability process is going to come starting today. One player that has the microscope on him right now is Jordan Cairo. Here was his blunt assessment of the Barubi decision to the Athletics' Jeremy Rutherford today. Quote, I've got no comment. He's not my coach anymore. The Blues simply have to get more out of their underperforming scorer, who only has five goals so far this year. Here's the GM and new coach on getting 25 going. Well, Jordan's not scoring to the level that he's, he's paid to score at. Uh, it'd be disingenuous to say that, that he is. So Jordan, there's, there's a different level for Jordan. He knows it. We all know it. He'll get to it. I, I believe he'll get to it. I watched him in the American League dominate. Uh, I see what he did here last year. He's going through a tough spell. There's no question about it. Uh, but I'm here to help him, uh, and I believe in him. <laughs> Well, there's still one big game left on Mizzou football's 2023 schedule. It's not too early to look ahead to next year. It's a new look SEC with no divisions, and the Tigers found out their matchups last night. Here's a look at the 2024 Missouri football schedule. They'll get Murray State, Buffalo, Boston College, Vandy, Auburn, Oklahoma, and Arkansas at home. Then go on the road to play Texas A&M, UMass, Alabama, South Carolina, and Mississippi State. Mizzou gets two bye weeks, one before A&M and one before Oklahoma. Coach Drinkwitz went on ESPN from a recruiting in-home visit last night to talk about the slate. It's a very difficult schedule, but I do think it's very balanced, and uh, it, it, it'll, it'll be a lot of fun. A lot of unknowns yet because we're really not sure what any team we're playing is going to be playing with until this portal settles. Hardest mm -hmm. working man around. He's always recruiting. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good, but... You know, they want to go to the Cotton Bowl more often than just one year. That'd be nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Corey, thanks. There you have it. Five on your side at five. Nightly news.